Okay, so the hair I use is called Missouri Boom 100% Human Hair Mix, Natural Mix. And this hair is the Spanish Wave in the color 1B. Now this is not human hair, it's pretty much like a human hair synthetic mix. And this hair comes with four bundles of hair. It comes with an 8 inch, a 10 inch, a 12 inch, and a 14 inch. And it also includes the closure. And this is the hair that I have left over. This is the Spanish Wave. Okay. So, what I did was I took this hair and, you know, I cut the tracks to measure how I wanted to sit on my head. And then, if I can find a clip, oh, here it is. Um, I sewed on clips. These are large wig clips. They snap on clips with the comb. You stick it in your hair and you snap it closed like that. And um, I pretty much made me some clip-in extensions and just clipped them onto the braids. The I had a beehive braiding pattern, so I clipped them onto the braids and got this style. Now, this is my first time ever doing my own weave. This is my first time ever making clip-in extensions, and this is my first time ever wearing a uh, clip-in extension as a weave. And I also put a clip onto the closure part and just stuck that in there and, you know, made it do what it do. So this is how it looks. It's not the best job because, like I said, this is my first time, but, you know, it's, it's okay. So this is the top, you can see this is the closure piece right here, and you might can see some trucks or whatever, like I said, it's my first time, this is the side, the back, so what I did was I used the 14 inch in the back, and then I worked my way up with the 12 inch and then I did like um, a, like a track of the 10 inch and then a track of the 8 inch and then a closure so that's pretty much how I got this look and my best friend um, Trishana28 she's on YouTube too she helped me with this when it came to the front because when, it, when I got to the front I got a little confused but, um, let me tell you about this hair. I have not took my clip-ins out. I have been sleeping in them and everything. I had it in for two days so far. And the hair, it sheds a little bit. It's not as bad because I didn't have some hair that was just out of control with the shedding. But it's synthetic hair is going to shed. But, you know, it doesn't shed as much as some hairs that I've had before. Um, it does tangle like a, like, crazy. It really, really tangles, but that's expected of synthetic curly hair. So, I just wanted to come on and show you guys my new do. Um, this hair cost me like $15.99 at my local beauty supply store. So, I say if you're just starting off and you want to try doing your first sewing, I mean not sewing, your first um, first time doing your hair, I say go ahead and try this hair. You know, it's something you could do. You could work it for like a couple of weeks or so. And it's cool. It looks nice. I think if I wet it and brush it a little bit, it'll look a little bit better. But, you know, I haven't put any product in this hair or anything. And it's really, out the pack, it's really soft. Like, you can really wring your hands through it. Like, brush out the pack. But once you put a little wear in it, it it doesn't it doesn't do that anymore. See, it's, it tangles. 
But that's expected. You gotta expect that of synthetic curly hair. Um, what else can I say about this hair? Like I said, it was cheap, and this is my first time, so that's why I went ahead and got the cheap hair. Um, so I say if you want to do a quick weave or, you know, something real simple, fast, and, you know, cute and cheap and within budget, I say go ahead and get this hair because it's really inexpensive hair, and it's, it's really nice. I really like the wave pattern to it, and that's why I bought it. You know, the only downside to this hair is that it tangles like crazy, but, you know, you can make you a wig, a U-part wig with this, something you can take off and put on every day like that. It probably won't tangle as quickly as mine did because I've been sleeping on it and everything. So, yeah, I just wanted you guys to see what I was working with my first time doing my own hair. Um, you know, I'm new to all this. I never sold, I never sewn anything in my life. So, you know, it was pretty easy making these, you know, clip-on extensions. These clips, needle, thread, that's all you really need. Um, some scissors and you good. So, if I can do it, you can do it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will reply. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Again, this hair is the, the Zuri Hair Synthetic Human. It's 100% human hair mix. And it comes with 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch, and a closure. And the whole pack will do your whole head. And if you want, you know, something fuller, you, like a, a whole pack will hook you up. So you won't even need to buy two, three packs of hair. This one pack is going to do the job. And, you know, it's pretty decent hair, like I said. So if you have any questions, comment, and I'll reply. Um, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.